don't really think you for me Fly up in the air like I'm Jeff Hardy Said you love my vibe but you was boring All the time hit my phone like why you calling If you know I'm gonna ignore it What's up? It's your girl Destiny and I'm back again with another video and if you're new, welcome to my channel Dose of Destiny and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I mix and apply henna um, to my hair. It is wash day. I know you'll see my hair is greasy. Sorry for the appearance because I've just been looking rough so maybe I'll relax my hair and um, henna is a protein treatment so it's going to make my hair cuticle stronger and maybe fill in the gaps and some hair strands. I'm just on this natural hair journey and I just want my hair to grow more healthier and whatnot so I just thought I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing on my wash day but it's not a full wash day routine I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to show you guys how I apply henna and then maybe I'll even show you guys how I style my hair so yeah we're just going to go in the kitchen I'm going to show you guys what I do to prepare the henna and then we're just going to get into the video Okay, first step was to boil green tea. This boosts this hair growth. I got this green tea from Dollar General. You can find green tea anywhere. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. I was just showing you guys all the ingredients I'm going to be putting in to the bowl. Minus the silicone mix, which is a conditioner that I'm also going to be adding to the mixture to just give my hair some shine. Because... Henna is very dry to your hair. Like when you let this dry, it's going to turn into a rock. So you just want um, ingredients in your mixture that is going to rejuvenate your hair. You can add any oil you want. So this is me just continuing to stir the mixture until it is into a pasty consistency. You do not want this mixture runny at all. As you can tell, I put too much coconut oil in this. I put too much honey and... I had to keep adding more henna so that the mixture was pasty because if this is runny, it is going to be a mess wherever you apply it. I promise it's going to be dripping all over. It's going to be on your hands, your face, and you don't want that. I mean, it's inevitable, but you try to avoid staining your whole body as much as possible because I have tried this before and it was a mess. Like When I did this, I got it on my carpet. I got it on my counter and I had to stop all what I was doing to try to clean it up as soon as possible because it did stain. So yes, this is the silicone I mentioned earlier. My mom and I got this from the Dominican Republic when we went. I swear by this conditioner. It smells so good and it's so moisturizing and makes my hair so soft and bouncy. So yeah, you guys see that this is so runny. I should have added the oil and honey little by little so I had to add more henna. So yeah, this is not that fun to watch, so I'm just going to stop talking here and let you guys see me um, stirring. So this is my freshly washed hair. I know I look crazy, sorry for my appearance, but I'm going to be applying Vaseline um, on my face, my neck, around my ears, just to make sure that the henna does not stain my face in the process. And then I just begin to separate my hair for the application process. Um, I'm just going to not do it in any particular section, but I always do start from the back. Um, 
yeah. That's the mixture. It got really hardened and thick after I put it in the fridge. And then you want to make sure that you have some type of glove to cover your hands because, yes, baby, this is about to get messy. I even go on to put on two pairs of gloves because I'm not playing with this henna because it is so messy. It stains. I'm telling y'all, if y'all do this, y'all are going to experience it. It stains everywhere. Okay, so this is the consistency after I let it refrigerate while I was washing my hair. And very pasty and not too loose so it doesn't make a mess in the bathroom.
so you can get an up close view of what it was looking like this was a very beautiful burgundy color i'm so sad it didn't stick to my hair but i have some more boxes of henna so hopefully after a couple of tries and uses that i can get a tint of burgundy because i'm in love with this like i just love it so much this is real real cute so i finished applying all of the henna to my hair and it's a burgundy color so um it may or may not stain my hair since my hair is already dark it's probably not going to do anything it says in order to get the color you gotta bleach your hair and i'm not bleaching my hair but i just thought i'd try this color because it looked really cute but i had to pause the video because i had got some in the sink and i already left a stain but yeah you see my face the color is really really cute so now i'm going to saran wrap not saran wrap i'm gonna put saran wrap on my hair to lock in the heat and let it penetrate and i'll probably um I think that's upside down. No, I'm probably not going to take this off until like tomorrow. But I don't know about sleeping with this. I'm really scared because this was really staining everything. Like it just stained my counter. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love that comb head. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get a plastic bag. Okay, cool. Put these little things. I'm gonna go under the heating cap. I'm probably gonna take the plastic bag off because I don't want it to melt, but I'm not sure if I can keep it on or not. But we're just gonna test it because I don't know if it's gonna melt. But yeah, I'm gonna go under with the heating bag and then I'll be back to show you guys the results tomorrow when I wash it on my hair and we'll see if it did anything. We'll see if it um defined my curls in the front some more. We'll see if it changed the color of my hair just a little bit. We'll see if it feels, you know, stronger or even if it looks shinier. So yeah, bye. So it's the next day. It is Mother's Day and I washed all the henna out my hair. This is the result. I let it air dry so it's like not fresh out the shower but it doesn't have any products on it. My hair does feel softer or whatnot. There's no, um, there's no color left in it. I'm probably going to style it but I don't know what I'm going to do to it. I might show you guys what I do. I'll probably do like a flat twist and then put some perm rods on the end. Okay, I'm back. So I flat twisted and then perm rod my hair. So we're just gonna take them out. I'm gonna oh. apply some tea tree oil on my hand. So when I'm taking the twist out, um, I reduce the frizz. So I'm just gonna see how they turn out. This is only my second time doing this. So I'm scared. The curl is cute. Y'all see it? I just really look like little bit like I just wish I had some more length but we're getting there this is um this is how I do my puff in the henna it really really added some shine to my hair it's very bouncy okay I'm coming I can never make a video in peace yep Woo! Quarantine has me like. So, yes. My mom is rushing for me. I mean, she's not rushing me, but she's rushing me. I meant to say, she's waiting for me. We're going to the store. I gotta get my mask. Gotta get some groceries, but yes, this is the final look. Gotta put some gloss on to show y'all. I'm gonna take this off.
guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this a little quick tutorial on how i styled my hair don't forget to like comment and subscribe for me baby your girl is out have a blessed day bye <laughs>